Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about one of my most loved, but not necessarily most worn fragrances over the past decade, I guess, and that is Intense Cafe from Montal. This is a fantastic gourmand oriental, and it was really hyped up in the media when the house owner and perfumer Pierre Montal released it in 2013. So I'd be surprised if you're a perfume lover who has not at least heard of this. I waited a few years before finally getting my hands on this one, and it's in used condition, so I got it for a good price. Just a quick note about the bottle to start. Montal gets a lot of hate for this packaging. Style-wise, to each their own, I am somewhat indifferent to it. There's pluses and minuses with it. So first is this or ornamental branding here. It's a, it's a tab that keeps it from being sprayed essentially instead of a cap. It, you know, it can be a bit finicky. Um, it can be used as some sort of ninja tool. Ah! Oh, so yeah, that's a bit annoying, but I guess if you want to play ninja, it's kind of fun. Also, of course, it's matte. You can't see through any of their bottles but that will protect the liquid from light, which is one of the things that can make a perfume go off, which is hard to do, but it does happen. So that's a bit of a pain. You just have to swish it around and figure how much juice is left. But what I do really like about it is that it's very, very lightweight. So if you like to travel with a lot of liquid, this is your brand. On the other hand, the container being aluminum and having this kind of cap or closure thing that could come off, means you might have a sort of accident in your suitcase whereby something squishes against it and then your whole suitcase is smelling of Montel, which is not necessarily what you might want. Yes, this particular scent being insanely strong means such an event would be um, potentially disastrous. I'm taking this cap off because it's flapping around here. Yeah, so Montel's Intense Cafe is a very powerful scent, and I like it that way. It means you don't need to spray as much, hence good value for money. And although I'm certain some men might disagree, I find this is extremely unisex. It's also very warm and delicious and highly seductive, a gourmand lover's delight through and through. Mm. While there is a coffee note in here, don't expect to be whacked over the head with it or feel like you're sitting at a Starbucks you might have to work hard to sniff it out. It's far from an espresso uh, coffee either. It's more of an Americano with lots and lots of milk. At its core, this is a vanillic rose perfume doused in musk and uh, a splash of amber. Yeah, here are the notes. Yeah, this is sweet and simple, but just divine. It's sexy, it's heady, it's expansive, and I feel jammy fruit and patchouli too, though they're not listed in the profile. But sadly, I can't really pull this off in the workplace, even though it is potentially a daytime scent. Because here in Japan, even at dusk, I kind of have to watch a bit about being too bold in public, I think. It's like the, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down type of situation, you know? Japan's scent culture is very different from, definitely from a lot of other countries. It's more demure, more subtle. And I can and do wear this at night, but not if there's not a lot of fresh air around me and definitely not in warm weather. This is not a terribly polite fragrance. It's boldly beautiful and brash and all-consuming. When I wear this out, I want to give people around me the option to breathe. This can be suffocating, even though it's not sickly sweet or cloying. It's more of a scent I wear to entertain in close quarters, if uh, you know what I mean, even if it's just me by myself in said quarters. The vanilla note in here is not the most natural, and while it might also be too sweet for some people. As I said, I don't find it too sick, sickly sweet or cloying. Intense Cafe has some candied um, spices that are sprinkled over an exquisite, creamy, lactonic rose. But come to think of it, the rose isn't exactly natural smelling either. It's a, it's a rose clone. It's not your 
girl next door natural beauty type of rose but more of a dolled up siren from the other side of the tracks you know a lot more interesting if you sniff hard you can pick up the coffee grinds i can just imagine myself sitting in front of a parisian cafe enjoying a high calorie treat with my mocha latte as i watch fashionable people proudly parade their colorful individuality in front of me for my enjoyment Many finely dressed and impeccably groomed Arab men stroll by, leaving me in a faint cloud of smooth oud that floats over my coffee and cake or whatever sweet treat I'm consuming. I don't think there is any oud in Intense Cafe, but there is indeed a Middle Eastern vibe to it, and a lot of Montal scents do have that vibe. Now, I only have a couple of fragrances from Montal at the moment, and I have two from Montal's sister company, which is Mansera. And I do like both brands, mostly because they each have a huge library of high-performing fragrances, meaning scents with decent longevity, projection, and sillage. And I think if you're going to spend a lot of money on a fragrance, it's really nice to have quality performance in addition to smelling fantastic. Now, of course, if you're looking for something that's more Western-oriented, more like demure and, and um, gentle, these brands, Mansera and Montel, might not be for you. Generally speaking, though, who would have guessed that roses dipped in latte would work so well, eh? This fragrance is a crowd pleaser for the most part. The likability factor is high if you're worried about putting people off. Just be careful not to overspray. Okay, I have to put the cap back on here. <laughs> so spurred on no doubt by the popularity of this fragrance, Montal came out with another like encore fragrance called uh, Ristretto Intense Cafe, which apparently has a stronger coffee note paired with added caramel and woods, and it's drier than this one. And I'd really like to try that one. So if you've tried it and you think it's better or different in a, in a good way, please comment below. I'd like to, I'd like to know what you think. Now, if uh, Montel's prices are a put-off, Zara can come to the rescue with its Rose Gourmand. It's not the same, not as good, doesn't last as long, but hey, for the price, you can blast through it guilt-free as uh, I've been doing here and get a very similar sugar-coated velvety rose experience. You could use this one to layer with uh, this one and maybe make it last longer and save some money. And when I first sniffed this fragrance, I knew, yes, I knew it was uh, meant to be a dupe for Intense Cafe. Uh, it's at least 85% similar. Probably that's being conservative. It, it's pretty mind-blowing. If budget is important to you, this one is around 35 US dollars as opposed to pushing 200 US dollars for this one. Although don't trust me on the money because I'm here in Japan and the exchange rates are always changing. I'm guessing. And by the way, have Zara perfume prices risen where you are? This bottle, which holds I think 80 or 90 ml as opposed to 100 here. This is now just under 5,000 yen, and last year it was 4,000 yen, so that's a big jump. Though I guess it's still relatively affordable compared to this. Anyway, there you go. That's my take on Intense Cafe. Uh, love it so much, uh, but sorry Montal, I think when I next run out I might have to pivot full-time to Zara as long as Zara is still offering it, because I mean, I can get 3.5 bottles of this for the price of this, you know? Well, that's assuming I pay retail for Montel, which as you know, my lovelies, I rarely do. I'm a thrifting queen. Okay, fellow fume heads, I will stop babbling now and uh, let you get on with your day or evening. I shall see you in the next one. So if you have any takes on Intense Cafe or Ristretto Intense Cafe and or Rose Gourmand, please comment below. I might not read what you write right away, but I do always look forward to reading your comments. So Yoroshiku, I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Scent Gourmand, signing out. Bye-bye. <laughs>